guys, this is the Germanic Gamer, and we are back with some more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, I hope everybody had a good weekend, uh, or a good Sunday. So, here we are, uh, like I said, back playing Knights of the Old Republic. We are out, uh, to do a recap, we lost the Battle of the Endor Spire. We ended up uh, abandoning the ship because the Sith were going to overrun it, and we crash landed here. So, here we go. So. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Well, do that all later. Got the apartment type complex. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. That's how we sit deep with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Okay then. You asked for this! You asked for this! Tiska do suki gumba na bona na gachu, a tuinko tu, toka da bungwalia gandona go chu chu, kabachi kuita otonga, yala mo inka pun, jiloba murirani bobo. Wango kumbes ka kang, ba mama rulira, kuyami jus kuna chitanai. Ina kun mama rulira ra chikun, slimo patona, mundi hodonga chikon kabi. Alrighty, uh, once I'm searching for this wall. Jawana bota ayuha tahonga cha kanki dora, kachi kuita hodonga. Topa da bung walia gando do nano chut chut. Muksha pa pampa, bola wana chitne. Bamuli slemo boda wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes. Uba batu kochi. Tong nong bong chang nung yang. Tong patok smak delia. Alright. I'm here to help out my friend, strange animal. Hello, boy. in here. You can't just come barging into someone's home. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. I can't help you there. Since I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Good. I don't much like strangers in my home. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. 
Tulpa da Bongwaleo Gondona Chuchut Kachi Chui Ita Dundonga Yumalita Kuto Dun Chilamulan and Nindubobo Wonga Kumbis Jang Ba Mulira Runda di Hotonga Kun Hunka B. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tunking ba nunotek tuk ninja tu kun ne mulerabes. So much to agree about these energy shields. Chi gratu loda bograshi on ne ukumba chin tumba muchuba. Loda nita kun ita patisa batua kachatu tunga. Bagrasha kun tijaka um. Chubakaha, chopa, chawachwish, yunku. Jodo, jidbunga rantang. Takum justak miki, grabble mogo. Kachichu, ita bodunga. Tolba bank, waleo ganda naru, chuchut. Mogisha punga, bola wana chikne. Pamule slimo, podadada nanga kumbist. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand to hand and melee combat. Where does technology come from? Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chui ita dundoga. Yumalita kuto tun. Chilamulane nindu bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulira. Ta kum justak miki grabble mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank waleo ganda naru chuchut. Mogisha punga bola wana chikne. Ba mule slimo podadada nanga kumbis mulira bes. Chi gratu loda bograshi onneo kumba chin tomba mochuba. Loda nita kun. Ida patisa batua kachatu tong. Bagrasha kun tijaka um. Chubakaha chopa chawachwish yunku. Jodo jidbunga rantang. Tolpa da pongwale kandu nangu chuchut. Kabadum ku pilio botenya. Bonanai kuchu. Hawaga boska chokola. Mucha shag panka. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek. Tuk ninja tu kun ne mule rabes. Tong abog sha um nina. Wanna kun bez keng palemuraya. Chuni yun tun chichi idat wana. Kapapol pa muji kumana. Achuta, wonga kun bis dolpi kikuyana, tong patugas magdelia. All right, so we're looking at that uh, thing, energy shield. 154. Now I have 92 credits. That's not happening. Uh, oh. That's all right. So what else we got? Man, it's dry. No problem. Got it. Rama na praka donko tsercha chupa panki. Okay.
something bad no Uncle Nick. Got it. I don't know why, but every time I played this game, I always kind of felt sorry for this guy because he was like always terrified. Take away your tinder bag. I always felt sorry for him for some reason. He was like, aww. He's like terrified. Kavadumpa kapalia monapata bonanakachu. Yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun tong na bun shan nu yang. No problem. You do that. Got it. Hello. Who are you? Hey there. What? Well, what? What? We are walking. I just clean those floors. My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Hmm. You look like an off-worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. Uh, Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I could try and help you out. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be fine. You also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in Upper City. Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets there, then. And, and from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. All right. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. It's not much of an issue for me, you know. I ain't never left Tars, and they ain't never gonna. A lot of other folks are sure riled up about it, but I don't really know much about it. I prefer to keep to myself, mostly. But there's plenty of people at the cantina who'll be more than happy to tell you what they think about the Sith and their quarantine. Okay. Uh, we go I should get back to work anyway. I'll probably see you around. I'm, I'm here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. Uh, unless it's alive. <laughs> well, dude. Jawara bota ayu at tahunga cha kanki dora kachi kuita hodonga topa da bungwa ya gando do na no chut chut muksha pa pampa bola wana chikne ba muri slaymo bota wanga. So the question is, is, like, why haven't you cleaned it up? Somebody might walk around here, but there's a bunch of dead bodies. Search for Ballista. Terrorist, you are trying to see the blues. The control now, you and Karth. Let us. Let's find Ballista. The only person capable of stopping us if you conquer the entire galaxy. You should probably begin investing in your reports of escape pods and crash to the other city. Leave the Sith but a quarantine on the planet. It's bad enough we can't leave, but all you off-worlders are stuck here too. <laughs> Greetings and good day. 
On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Taurus. I am a cryptical droid programmed to provide information to everyone on Taurus, citizens and visitors alike. Is there something I can do to serve you? I am afraid that is impossible. Taurus is currently under a planet-wide quarantine. The Sith are allowing no one to arrive or leave, except on official Sith business. May I be of any further service to you? The Taurus Tourism Board has issued a strong warning to all visitors to avoid the lower city. It is a violent and dangerous place you would do well to avoid. May I be of any further service to you? The Sith are the new authority here on Taurus. They seek to preserve the customs of our world, also I am told. More than this I cannot say. May I be of any further service to you? Uh... Alien species have restricted access to the upper city. This is one of the most ancient traditions of Taurus, and the Sith have promised to preserve such traditions. Of course, I have yet to see them arrest a single alien for traveling the upper city without a permit. May I be of any further service to you? I am an employee of the Taurus government, programmed to provide information and guidance to any who require it. May I be of any further service to you? Then if you will excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds. Do you do that? Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? The planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of at any rate. You got it. Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. I've seen more than my share of worse. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed. I... I didn't. No, I... I know. Don't worry about it. I just... I'm, I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm... Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Okay, then. So what about... Cars? Give script. So, so we're to talk about perhaps you can talk more about it later. Uh, after you gain more experience. Okay. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kevlar Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. It. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Dabix men got there first. Uh, what about this 
Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Hmm. Well, I've heard of the Exchange. Bad organization to cross. But if anyone has blockade-breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay them a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The swoop gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement, instead of always going after each other. Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. But Terrace isn't so bad, as long as you stay in the upper city. Just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davik's men are having trouble down there. I don't have anything good to say about those swoop gangs. Zooming around on their swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the hidden Vex were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Volker gang, <laughs> the lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Volkers now. Uh, it's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get my meaning. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine. Though. They're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Interesting. All right. Well... Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. Don't you just love watching the Fazak players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Fazak player on Taurus? <laughs> My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Fazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. Questions? <laughs> I don't come here to answer questions. If you want to play Pazak, then let's play. If not, then quit crowding my gambling table. You don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, go speak to old Garok on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits, and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. My name's Garouk. I used to be a card shark, one of the best Bazak players in the Outer Rim. But that was before I retired from the gambling life. Don't get me wrong, the game's been good to me over the years. 
I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago. Things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. Fifty credits get you my old Pazak deck and a free lesson. A great offer if you can afford it. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I saw you are getting a Pazak lesson from that old fossil Garuk. Learning the rules of Pazak is easy, but actually playing the game is a much greater challenge. Normally, I wouldn't bother with a novice like you. But since Gerud was banned for hustling cards, I haven't been able to find a good game around here. Do you wish to play him? I'm going to enjoy relieving you of your credits almost as much as I'm going to enjoy humiliating you. <laughs> First game, I'm probably going to lose 40 credits. Makes sense. Oh my gosh, really? Pazak is not. Okay, no. If you have that is really bad. I lost 40 credits from that. Oh, that is Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. 
Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith Occupation Force. Nice to meet you. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taris can't stand us Sith. They can make this job pretty lonely. You're an off-worlder. <laughs> I figured you'd be even more angry being stuck on a foreign planet and all. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? Exactly, it's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It's pretty lonely at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a ship at the military base, but some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Ha ha! Don't be late. We're starting right after our ship's end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. Awesome. That's no, I've never done that one before. What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. You wouldn't be proper for a man of my standing. Huh. I'm surprised the Sith haven't done anything to try to bring in Davik. After all, everyone knows he's the crime lord who runs this planet. Nice outfit. I've seen outcasts in the Undercity who dress better than you. Ah. No hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I would guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. Something I'm... Dresses you. Look like you crawled up here from the lower city. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, the band's pretty good, but I'm getting a little sick of them. If it wasn't for the Sith quarantine, maybe we could get somebody new in here to play. I'm sorry, I'm too busy to talk. I've got to get these drink orders to the customers. If you're here to complain about the quarantine, don't waste your breath. There's nothing I can do about it. I just follow the orders I'm given. Do I know you? No? Then why are you speaking to me? This cantina isn't the fanciest joint I've ever been in, but it's a good place to unwind after a hard shift at the military base. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired.
It's too late for apologies. Daddy's going to hear about this. You'll lose your job for sure. Okay. Hey, I don't even know. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Girl on fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Girl on Two Fingers. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan! <laughs> and to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Gerlon Poofinger. Vibro blades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Endar Spire. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
io ti trago anche dove mai i miei giusti così scannai ora è a fuggire con quella gigi Waja Nechu, Ujang Yotorum Chiwefa, Oya Una Chinneka, Famule Rakun Miskin. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night. But this time, he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Jedi Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger. All right. Ch Mysterious stranger has won! But really, are any of us surprised? Dead Eye losing is in view. You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger! that for this episode i hope you've enjoyed uh, please like please do come rate subscribe uh we uh been a little successful with doing it play, play the game of Posics, which i will go get those credits back in the next episode uh we really should not have lost because this is a very very solid game and then we also got involved in the dueling and i think we got invited to a sixth party so hey i guess uh I said the right words right so anyway guys like I said, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, please do comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. This is the Germanic Gamer signing out. See you guys next time. Bye.